Hey there, my name is Mallory and I'm here with All About Cats. In this week's video, we're going to be taking a look at my recommendations for the best food for cats who need to lose weight. So the first thing to think about when choosing a food for a cat who needs to lose weight is that the food is not the complete answer to this problem. It's not the full picture. You're going to want to take a multifaceted approach and most importantly, you're going to want to make sure that your cat is taking in fewer calories than they're burning each day. So in order to determine how many calories your cat needs, you can use a calculator uh, like the one that we provided all about cats. I'll put a link in the description and in the cards. And you can use that to find out, again, how many calories your cat's going to need each day in order to reach their goal weight. So while setting up a good weight loss plan and closely adhering to it, monitoring your cat's weight and monitoring their food intake are all the most important parts of helping your cat lose weight, obviously the right food is going to make your job a lot easier. So good foods for weight loss are going to have a lower calorie density than your typical food. And this is why I would typically recommend a wet food for cats who need to lose weight. Wet food is on average somewhere between 20 and 35 calories per ounce, whereas a typical dry food is going to be closer to 100 calories per ounce. So you can easily see that a cat who's on a wet diet is going to feel a lot fuller. They simply have more um, inside of their digestive system um, than a cat who eats dry food. So they're going to feel fuller on less food. Most of the foods on this list are going to be wet diets, but I did include one dry food just in case that's your preference or your cat's preference. So let's jump into the reviews of my top five recommendations. So my first recommendation is Nom Nom's Chicken Cuisine. We've talked a little bit about Nom Nom uh, on the channel before. It is a subscription cat food service. So you're going to sign up, enter information about your cat, and then receive regular shipments of your cat's food. So the food is marketed as a fresh food. In the industry, this typically refers to a homemade style food. It's going to look a lot like table scraps. Um, and it is primarily made from chicken muscle meat and liver. So it's a fairly species appropriate option that emphasizes meat above anything else. Naturally, it's going to be high in moisture and pretty satisfying for your cat. But what I think most sets Nom Nom apart from the other foods on this list is the fact that each meal is custom portioned for your cat. So when you sign up, you're going to give information about your cat's weight and their weight goals. And then Nom Nom is going to send out packages that are portioned out for your cat. This convenience comes at a price. Uh, your price per ounce is going to vary depending on your unique subscription, but I found that prices generally range from two and six dollars per day. The other downside of ordering this food is that it's only available in one variety. So if your cat doesn't eat chicken or if they can't eat chicken, or you just want to mix up their diet more, um, that's not going to be an option. You're going to have to supplement it with some other food from another brand. My next recommendation or our runner up is going to be Tiki Cat's Puka Puka Luau um, chicken consomme recipe. So this food is pretty much the quintessence of weight loss cat food. It is a very brothy food and it's also low in fat, which work together to make it a very low calorie food. So each ounce of this food has about 25 calories. Um, Again, a pretty low calorie food compared to the competition. Now, this particular recipe is a chicken-based food, but Tiki Cat also offers some similar varieties that are made from fish. Um, so if you want to mix things up a little bit or change out protein for any other reason, you can do that. Now, the biggest downside of this food is probably its price. At 54 cents per ounce, it's already a little bit more expensive than most wet foods. And then when you consider uh, is low calorie density and the fact that you might end up having to feed your cat more of it, um, it adds up to be pretty expensive. So if you're looking for something a little bit more budget friendly, you might be more interested in our next recommendation, which is going to be my budget pick. It's Fancy Feast Flaked Fish and Shrimp Feast. This is a pretty straightforward fish-based food that is also pretty low in calories. So at 26 calories per ounce, it's one of the lower calorie foods you can buy. In addition to being low in calories, this is a pretty high protein, low carbohydrate food. So it seems to honor your cat's uh, dietary needs as a carnivore. And overall, it just looks like a pretty good weight loss friendly food. Cats really like this food. And again, because it is pretty low in calories and pretty moisture rich, it's going to be nice and satisfying to help your cat feel satiated for longer. 
And again, it's going to be a relatively affordable choice at about 30 cents per ounce. Now, as I mentioned earlier, wet food is almost always preferable to dry food, especially when you're looking uh, into helping your cat lose weight. But if your cat is hooked on dry food or it's the only option that you're able to feed, then you might want to consider Tiki Cat's Born Carnivore Deboned Chicken and Egg Recipe. Now this isn't a particularly low calorie food at about 107 calories per ounce, um, but it does have some other qualities that set it apart from some other foods on the market that are at a similar calorie level. A lot of the other more low carbohydrate foods are going to be really calorically dense, but this food manages to be under 20% carbohydrates on a dry matter basis and still reasonably low calorie. It's a meat-based food made from clearly named ingredients, and overall it looks like a relatively carnivore-friendly, carnivore-appropriate choice. This dry food costs about 25 cents per ounce. And finally, I want to give a recommendation for cats who have any type of digestive sensitivities. Of course, the appropriate food for a cat with some form of sensitive digestion, whether it's a food intolerance or IBD or some other issue, um, the best food for that cat is going to be determined by their particular situation. But in general, a very straightforward, digestible food is going to be the best option for these types of cats. And with that in mind, I'm going to recommend Vital Essentials Duck Dinner Cat Food. This is a freeze dried food that is primarily made from duck. It doesn't contain any other protein sources. It contains a nice mix of muscle meat, organs, and bones. So your cat is getting a lot of nutrition from a highly digestible source. It also contains some herring oil, which is a source of omega-3 fatty acids and could help to reduce inflammation. Of course, our focus here is on weight loss. And the nice thing about this food for cats who need to lose weight is that you can add as much water to it as you want. So again, this is a freeze dried food and it's made to be rehydrated. So you're going to add some warm water until the food reaches the consistency that you like. So each patty is about 60 calories and you can make that quite satisfying by adding a nice large amount of water. Um, you can add about as much water as your cat is willing to taken their food. Now, like other raw or freeze dried foods, this product is a little bit more expensive than other foods on the market. So it costs about $2.35 per ounce. And for a typical cat, that's going to add up to most likely somewhere around $4 a day. So again, rather expensive. Um, but for a certain type of cat, I think that it could be well worth it. So I think that's about it for my list of the top five best foods for cats who need to lose weight. I hope that you found it helpful. Again, your cat's food is just one piece of the weight loss puzzle. I think what's going to be most important is to closely monitor what your cat's eating and closely monitor their weight as it changes uh, over time in order to make sure that you're going in the right direction. Again, I'll put links to resources to help you develop a weight loss strategy for your cat, and I hope you'll find those helpful as well. If you're interested in trying out any of the foods that I mentioned here, of course, there will be links in the video description so you can check them out on Amazon and Chewy. Now, if you appreciated this video and you're interested in more buyer's guides like this one, as well as product reviews and information on all things cats, please subscribe to the channel and click the notification bell so you get the news every time we release a new video. We put out new videos at least once a week, so there's always something to look forward to and always something to learn. If you would like to support the channel further, you can always check out the All About Cats shop, uh, which is where you can purchase cool cat-inspired merchandise like the love shirt, which I'm wearing here. Um, and your purchase will help to support our mission of helping people give their cats better lives through better information. Regardless of how you choose to support us, thank you so much for being here and I will see you in next week's video. Bye.